So we all know that we need SOPs in our business and how crucial they are. So today, I'm gonna guide you through how to create SOPs properly. I'm Jennifer Crosco. I am your EOS certified implementer. So why do we need SOPs? What do they do? Well, let's just say for some reason, the person in charge dies, major accident happens, how is your business gonna run if we don't have those SOPs? So the first thing in creating a effective SOP is you actually have to appoint somebody to be the lead person to take care of those SOPs. Why do you need a lead person to implement and make sure that those SOPs are done? Typically that person in an EOS culture would be your integrator. Your integrator would make sure that everybody creates those SOPs for each part of their function and function is like their role in the company. The second one that makes it easy is I have all of my clients create a table of contents. A table of contents can be created in your weekly meetings. And then what you do is you just pinpoint exactly we have human resources, we have ops manager, we have finance, we have social media, whatever that might be, we create a table of contents. From a table of contents, we create bullet points. So say we have a financial part of our table of contents. The bullet point should be hiring, firing, paid time off, bookkeeping, CPA. So now we make bullet points in the table of contents. Then after that's created, we take it to the next level. The third thing is, say our financial person. We hand that over and we say, listen, the minute you sit down in your seat that day, I want you to write your holy daily task. They take that and they put them in the bullet points in the table of contents. So now you have a full binder collected. Now what the integrator does, the person that owns all of these SOPs, is goes back through, looks through them all, initiates them, makes sure it's perfectly said the way that they need it, and bam, you're done. Super easy. So what does this create for your team and your culture? This allows literally to step in there, can look exactly of what somebody's doing through the day, walk you through all of the bullet points, nobody has questions. So when you're onboarding, you're hiring, it makes it a breeze. People can look exactly at what's going to happen and actually implement that with somebody not having to train them fully. So don't be afraid with the fact that we always have to evolve and change our SOPs. The thing is, is that your company is going to evolve over a period of time. When I bring in SOPs with clients, I tell them that it's gonna take anywhere from a year to three years to actually finalize the SOPs. But then on top of that, each year it has to be reassessed. And the reason why is because we're always evolving. We're always changing, we're always growing. And so every year somebody has to be accountable to make sure that everybody else is redoing that each quarter, six months, 12 months, whatever it is for your company. So if this was helpful, please subscribe and I will see you on the next video.